Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Monday. We are going to continue with our readers workshop, and today we're going to talk about retelling. And when we retell a story, how do we do it? So let's get started. So the beginning of the story, or the re beginning of retelling a story, you always want to tell the people where the story is. That is the setting. When something happens or where something happens. So like here, it's a time in the place. In this picture, or in this story, it's a morning time. And in the place, the wild jungle. Next, you want to tell the characters, the who of the story. People, animals, or things. So let's see who's in our story. Oh, we have Frog, Mrs. J, Mrs. J and I as frogs, maybe an owl. Here's Mrs. J and I. The problem, the oh no, the events, the beginning, the middle, the end. What happened in the story? You gotta tell all the parts. So in this story, the beginning, we took a walk in the jungle. In the jungle. In the middle of it, I found a snake, or maybe a snake found me and got me all all up in it. I was not happy. And in the end, we ran for safety. The solution, the oh yeah, how the problem was solved. What happened next? How did I get out of the snake? Mrs. J came to help me and we ran as fast as we could. And then I said, thank you. So when we retell a story, the, the parts of the story, you need to make sure you're telling all of it. If you miss a part of it, you might not tell the whole thing and so you might confuse somebody. So like in the Beetle Alphabet book, this story is kind of hard to retell because there's so many beetles in it, but the characters in the story are the beetles because they're all of them, A to Z. The problem in the story, there really isn't a problem, but you might say that during the story, you might not like some of these beetles, or you might think some of them are really cool. The beginning to middle and end, it's all about beetles. They start with a beetle that starts with the letter A, and they end with the letter Z. So when you retell a story, you want to make sure you're talking about the story that you're talking about. So if I'm showing you the Beetle Alphabet book, I need to talk about the Beetle Alphabet book. I can't talk about Mrs. Wishy-Washy and her silly animals. Now that one has a problem and it has an easier way to tell the beginning, middle, and the end. This book is an informational book. So you really don't have a problem. You really don't have a setting or a solution. You just have a lot of facts. So when you pick a retelling story, sometimes it's better to pick a story that does have a setting, has a problem, has a beginning, middle, and end. Whereas informational stories just have a lot of good, fun, and sometimes gross information. So I want you to retell me a story. Make sure you record it or you show me a picture of it and post it in your portfolio. Bye guys.